Hi, this is Paul Gabay, VP of Product Development for Design, Web, and Interactive at Adobe. And I'm here to show you a couple of WebKit enhancements we've been making. This happens to be WebKit, our version, running on a Droid X phone. And we've been focused on some use cases around digital publishing, specifically around higher fidelity and adaptive layout. So in this first example here, you'll see that we have a callout on the middle of the page, and you'll notice that the HTML text is wrapping around the callout. And um, if the designer had created this for an adaptive page and set up some rules, they could actually, we could actually move this call out and you can see that wherever it ended up on the page, the text would have wrapped accordingly um, based on what the designer rules were. And the way that we've, the approach we've taken here is actually to extend CSS with the uh, WebKit prefix to allow some new rules for a designer to specify what they want. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is baseline alignment. You'll see in this callout that wherever the text ends up, it does not necessarily line up with the text that's outside of the callout. So we want to fix that, so I'm going to enable grid here. And now you'll see that with that baseline alignment property turned on, it does in fact line up as I move it over here. So let's go to a different example. I'm going to go to a more advanced example of text wrapping here with our friendly giraffe. So you'll see we have a giraffe here. It's a regular shape. You'll see the text wrapping around it based on those rules that the designer set up. And you'll see that, um, that the WebKit responds to that. And wherever I happen to place that giraffe, you'll see that the text wraps around it based on what you would expect, uh, even though it is an irregular, an irregular shape. So the third example here I'm going to go to is a Reader's Digest article. So this is actually um, an article here. You can see that it's got um, two pages. And uh, again, this is the same article. You'll notice it's adaptive. If I turn this over to Portrait, you'll see that it in fact realigns itself based on the designer's intent and the text changes, the photographs go to the top, it paginates in a, in a different way. Move this back over again. And just to show that this truly is um, adaptive here, I can literally take things like the pictures here and move them over, and you'll see the text wrapping around that based on, um, based on that designer's intent again. So if I had this on the other side here, you'd see all the text wrapping over to the left. I can actually come over to the um, second page here and take this guy and just kind of move him over here, and you'll see, again, all the text wrapping around it, and it still looks good, even though I've moved him over to the left here. So these are just some of the examples that we've been playing around with. Um, we're working with our friends at Google to help bring this back to WebKit, so we'll be working with the WebKit Open Source Project. And, uh, of course, we'll be working with the W3C as well to work on the um, standards. And um, just a couple of examples of ways that Adobe is helping to make the web a better place. Thank you.